one. I'm excited because Leanne is here to share some exciting news about her latest venture. And we're just always excited to go along on the journey with you, L.A. So go ahead, share your big news with our City Line viewers. I'm going to take you back in time to 15-year-old me first. And that's when I had my very first job in a little retail shop that was owned by a lovely husband and wife duo. And it was a decor shop. And I remember standing behind the counter daydreaming about one day having my own store. And even in the midst of this crazy pandemic, I decided to take the leap. And I'm so excited to share that I'm standing in my shop and my online shop is actually launching today. That is incredible. And you know what? It, here's the thing. It's like in all of this madness that we're going through, uh, this historical moment, there are people still creating businesses and thriving in their business. And I find that so inspiring. So I remember when we saw the trailer makeover, the beautiful Hugh La La trailer. Um, tell us where you went from that point to this point. Part of that process was going into the communities, meeting people, and then more importantly, connecting with makers and gave me the confidence kind of in baby steps to really dive in and go big. A anyone that's been watching City Line for years understands LA doesn't do anything half. She goes 1,010%, which is why she's such a critical part of this show. So I want to know, LA, what do you want them to get from what you've created? Well, my goal was really to create a space where quality and affordability meets handcrafted and locally made. Okay, so these are real people. These are real makers. I would love you to walk me through uh, this beautiful table. I've already started shopping. First, want to share the collection that you have there on the table of all of the little hand knit items. Now, I have to tell you, the women, there's a group of women locally that make all of these. So the little hat, the booty sets, they're all just so adorable. They're a group of retired women and they call themselves the Granny Cartel. <laughs> and this has kind of become their hobby that they've turned into a bit of a business as well. So also notice you've got some donuts and mm. some ice cream cones and they're all little crocheted uh, rattles, baby rattles. Oh. Now, the woman who started this business, her name is Samantha Morshed. She's in British Columbia, but she at one point lived in Bangladesh and decided to teach a lot of the women in rural villages how to knit and crochet and since then the business has blossomed into this amazing fair trade company where the women all get fair trade wages they're working within their villages and communities so they're close to home and they can even bring their children to their workplace that is beautiful LA okay what else do you have I love social media for meeting makers. And that's where I discovered Kate's Handmade. So you've got some really cute, funky earrings here. These are all made in Edmonton, Alberta, and they're all handmade and small batch. So you're getting something incredibly unique. No one will ever have another pair of these earrings. And then I also have some necklaces there that I wanted to point out. Now, these are made by uh, originally two women that met in university. They went to Western University, and together they came up with this idea to create this brand, Foxy Originals, and that one of the necklaces you have there is from their Unstoppable co collection, and it says, Be the Change. Mm -hmm. And I just think that message and so many of their messaging, it's empowering when you wear their pieces. and. They're all designed and made in Canada. There's some pillows there that I wanted to show you. Now, I'm a bit of a pillow addict. I have far <laughs> too many, as my husband would say, in the house. But this is a Canadian brand, uh, Canadian made. What I love most, their textiles are carbon neutral textiles and their manufacturing practice is considered seed to store. What that means is 100% of the carbon that's emitted during their manufacturing process has actually been offset with an investment in clean energy. So not only are they made in Canada, but they're great for the environment and they look beautiful on your Absolutely. sofa too. So that's a win across the board. Last but not least, I love original artwork and especially supporting local artisans. So you'll see that there's a few art prints there. Janet Hill, who's a local artist, which I carry in the shop. I love her whimsical art prints. Mm -hmm. And then Poppermost prints from Hamilton, Ontario. She does these minimalist, um, a lot of female empowered female prints, but she also does customization and that's what I love most. So I actually created something for Eva <gasps> that's there on the table that I, I would love for you to Beautiful. open. And this is from Poppermost one of okay. the local artists. I'm opening it up right now, like, LA. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. And this is the ABCs 
of strong women. But if you will notice, yes, the T. Let's see who's on the T. Who holds oh, the T position? It's me. Oh, she is going to absolutely love it's this, you. LA. Oh my goodness. The fact that I made the board and well, the queen she on needs here. Her strong mom. An RBG. Yeah. <laughs> You are a strong woman, Tracy, and I so appreciate that you have supported me so much in my business and my dreams, and you support so many other strong women Aww. because you are one. So thank you for supporting me. Good stuff, L.A.